Hello, my friends, and welcome back. My name is Justice Knight, and on today's broadcast, we are going to cover probably my single most heaviest hitting topic by far and how it will impact us in 2019 because I believe that the great reveal is coming, and it is a terrifying reveal that we have talked about over and over again, but it appears at times nobody's paying attention. So I need each of you to make sure you listen in and spread this word. Cause if not, our freedoms are all but lost our freedoms and maybe our very way of life. And unfortunately that is the stark harsh reality of where we're heading. So I don't want to stop in the middle of this broadcast. So I just want to first give a shout out to my sponsor. Again, remember prepare with Lisa, my Patriot supply for all your prepping needs. Great company. Um, and I also read in the comments that the commercials that you see within my video is the only way I have to support myself and what I do here. I'm trying to build my Patreon and PayPal base so that that can kind of overtake some of that. But for now, it's what I have to make sure I can keep bringing you this news. But without further ado, let's jump into what is happening. The article here published by Science News. Artificial intelligence is mastering a wider variety of jobs than ever before. Oh, wonderful, isn't it? It's horrible because every job it masters, it removes a job. And I know, and I've read all the studies, but don't worry, we'll need people to help design AI and program AI because that's a huge subset of people out there who are qualified. Because as social media has tried to rob the brains of our youth and basically dumb everybody down to a level that they keep you affixed to this device right here, they don't want your eyes off of it because the more you pay attention to this device, the less you can learn and the less intelligent we all become because our worlds become so refined find into the artificial intelligent beast that runs these and the social media platforms. So they go on to some useless topics here about how it identified more craters and the, the moon could care less. But let's go into the, the heaviest hitting ones. First, medicine is these algorithms that are being created. And this says in the future, an AI may diagnose eye problems. New technology aims to speed medical care in places where specialists are scarce. Well, specialists are scarce because the artificial intelligence programs are taking their places. Pretty soon, we're going to go to the doctor's office and there won't be any doctor walking in. It will be a sterile mainframe computer that will have no compassion, it will have no emotion, it will have no feeling, but it will have amazing algorithms built on things that should never have been given information on, including you, and give you a diagnosis. Well, imagine when that diagnosis is wrong. What are we going to do? Sue the computer? Or sue the programmer? Well, how do we sue the programmer if it was generated off of algorithms and data from millions of data points? Are we going to go sue those millions of data points? Will you and I have the money necessary to litigate? Oh, that's where we're heading in this AI torture realm. But what's even worse is the rise of the false prophets, as I call them. The AI potential false prophet. A new computer program generates eerily realistic fake videos. I've shown these on my broadcast. I've shown you how now it can deliver a message. It was, I believe it was Key and Peel had done a broadcast where he voiced in Obama saying incredibly stupid things, probably not that far from reality. But nonetheless, what happens when China, who's leading in all this AI disaster, decides to put through a false prophet to deliver a message. What? A message of war? A message of change? A message of overthrow your government? What if they take President Trump's image and he delivers a horrible speech that says, we are about to nuke Russia. I am launching now. Click. But it was AI generated and broadcast to Russia and they retaliate. You start to understand the horrors of AI. And if you think these guys have any control of the artificial intelligence and how it operates and the Facebooks and the Googles, the geniuses alleged of this design have control of anything they don't. And to prove that, 
Let's go into this. Google and Facebook fed ad dollars to child porn discovery apps. Now, in basic, these were applications that appeared on the Google Play Store, which directed the users of those who downloaded directly to child pornography. Disgusting and despicable. These guys are the best. These guys are the guys who are going to safeguard our information. These guys are the people who say what is fake news and what is not. Because let's see here. Because people are bad at spotting fake news. But don't worry. The computers can do it better. The algorithms designed by these tech masters, these tech titans to control your life, to control the message that you read. Oh, I wish to get rid of some of the messages I have to hear on the daily news. But don't worry, the only people they get rid of is conservatives and Christians and those that anybody believe that they don't believe in. Remember where they're based out, out in California. I know that's three days in a row with California. I am so sorry, guys, because some of you out there are amazing people. It is not directed at you. It is directed at the machine around you that has been created. And let's go into the next article here. And how are they censoring? This is a perfect example. How YouTube censorship bots are crashing creators' careers. This gentleman in particular, let's read just down. Let me thumb down here very quickly. From July to September of 2018, Google has taken more than 58 million videos and deleted 224 million comments off of YouTube. This rise in self-regulation is in part due to mounting efforts by government officials and influence groups who believe that the platform has been overrun with extremists and controversial content. It's no small feat. There are eight hours of content posted to YouTube every minute. So who do they deem as being, what do they say, as being controversial? an extremist. You've seen who's torn down. You guys have watched it. I'm sure many of you who are fans of Alex Jones saw him torn down as extremist, as controversial for disclosing things that people didn't want to know, agree with them or not. And I'm, that's, again, I'm very cognizant of how we present this, just like Q. Agree with him if he, if he exists or not, if he's just a creation of artificial intelligence. That's yet to be determined. But I believe that this disclosure I mentioned earlier in the broadcast is coming soon because how much of the messages that's being derived for you and I to read and listen to and watch every day is actually fake. I've told you the fake news narrative and the fake news moniker and the Russian election meddling is all a bunch of hooey because the real inner workings of the globalist cabal around us all, oh, nobody is privy to what's actually occurring. But articles pointed out every day how China can spy on your electronics, even in the U.S. How many have I told you about Huawei, for example? Anybody who has a phone from China, take it and smash it quickly. Because if you have their device, they are spying on you. There's no doubt about it. You read this article, the U.S. government's Top counterintelligence official has a stark warning for visitors to China. The Chinese government can't spy on your smartphone, tablets, and computers. Oh, that's not in China, my friends. That's here. Every device that they create, they can spy through. Oh, I know. They tried to disseminate the spy chips, right? Those weren't real. That's been completely boshed. No, it hasn't. It's been covered up. Because the depth of how deep China has invaded our privacy, our electronics, and even our military complex within the devices and the machinery that utilize will terrify everybody. And we're getting much closer to that disclosure that will come out. But we continue quickly. Five fastest nations to adopt facial recognition and AI. And this is when I'm going to start to loop back around into something nobody wants to hear. So anyway, we all know that China leads with AI and facial recognition. In that country, you can't go in a corner without being seen. They rank you by a social credit score with who you hang out with, where you read, what you read, what religion are you are. Anything that you disagree with will prevent you from getting on a plane, even prevent you from getting a pet. That's wonderful, isn't it? No dog for you if we don't agree with the government line. So we don't expect, who do we expect here? No longer relegated to science fiction movies and novels, facial recognition is being applied in numerous vertical markets and use cases. Oh, so technical, right? Are we shocked that we see China first? We see the United Arab Emirates, Japan, Singapore. Are you ready for it? In the leading nations for facial recognition? Because we know with Google creating Dragonfly for China and an American company working with China and the Obama administration and the Clinton administration all but handing China the keys to the kingdom in so many ways that it is almost irreversible. 
So who? why would we be surprised not to see the United States as number five? Directly in correlation with communist China. And what's at state? While well, the U.S. has the potential to deploy facial recognition at the same scale as China, adoption of the technology has been slow, rightfully so, because we're pushing back and opening everybody's eyes to why and how bad and how deplorable and how Orwellian and how torturous and how absolute the atrocities of facial recognition. But don't worry, because as of 2016, almost 50% of all adults in the U.S. were in facial recognition databases operated by police stations. I can't express to you enough the aggravation. That was in 2016. But don't worry, because Jeff Bezos is going to help out, right? Because Jeff Bezos just keeps promoting it. And why is he involved in this globalist cabal of facial recognition software? Why is he taken? Not only, oh, this is 2016. Imagine now, what is it, 80%, 90%, every street corner, every camera, every stoplight camera. You don't think those are all continually recording? on top of the devices, on top of Facebook, who's given away our photos to everybody with the biggest facial recognition database that's ever existed, and the Google data breaches, and every other data breach, your social imprint, your life, your very technological soul has already been taken and stolen. And that, my friends, is the disclosure that we will find out exactly the full depth and depravity of how closely correlated with China We are at this point in time when it comes to AI, surveillance, and facial recognition. Because we're already, as I covered before, creating a doorbell. Who's afraid of Amazon's video doorbell? A doorbell, by the way, for those of you that didn't hear the broadcast, that can take a picture of you walking by. So if your neighbor has it on their door, this will take your picture. It will give it to the police station. This is the actual patent that has been filed it will give it to the police station so that they can identify you as a suspect or not the based on what database the database that's been created by whom the same database that google's trying to create the same mainframe the same software the same censorship arm the same control the same monstrous horrible beast created to control and dictate your life and if you don't think in 2019 these disclosures are going to accelerate to such a degree because if they don't it means they won because if you don't hear more about it it means they've suppressed all the information they've suppressed all the conservative viewpoints they suppressed all the dissenting opinions so i hope and pray yes a little twist on this one that in 2019 we hear more disclosures about the orwellian technology that has been so influenced and created by china prevalent ready and being used already in this country because if we hear it it means they haven't won the battle and it is up to each of you to spread this word to make sure that more people's eyes are open to exactly how our lives are under an attack and our children's lives are all but ruined by these darn devices and the social networks that they can't get their eyes off of because that is exactly what the program has been designed to do to keep their eye off the prize of education, of independence, of freedom, of free thought, and of great thinking. And until we correct those woes upon our country, until we stop what they have created to control and destroy our children, my friends. We will not win this battle. And 2019 is going to be the biggest battleground of technology wars that anybody has ever seen. And let's hope and let's pray that we win this one. Because if not, we lose everything. I want to thank you each again for tuning in. My name is Justice Knight. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I certainly hope you will. All my links are below. If you have the means to support me, I certainly hope you will. Most importantly, Godspeed and God bless to each of you. Please share this video far and wide. These messages can't go silent and they can't go unheard.